Well, good afternoon, all. It's uh, definitely in the afternoon. I just got it, well, I got off work early and it's hot as can be down in the valley. So I thought, what the heck? I'm going up in the hills. Beautiful up here. Got a nice breeze blowing. It's probably 70 degrees. It's wonderful. Why are we here? Well, I've been thinking about my old video of Power Pole Gold. And my original plan was to come up here and there's half a dozen power poles down this road through this old hydraulic pit. And my plan was I was gonna come up, take the number off the pole, take a sample around the pole and keep a little log and then do all the different ones and see which one has gold. But I thought that kind of does away with the mystery. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to each pole. I'm going to gather up a pan full of gravel. I'm going to dump it in the five gallon bucket. Then we're going to take it home and pan it out. See if there's gold. If there is, then the next trip up, we're going to go to each pole and try to analyze the pole and see if that's where the gold comes from and look around, maybe take more samples. Okay, well, time's short, so I'm gonna grab the pan. Let's go check out our first pole. All well, right, here's our first pole. And I'm calling them power poles, but I think the telephone poles. But anyway, let's take a look at the gravel around the base here. Now, I don't know how well it's showing it, but above the pole, there's no uh, river gravel showing, but below the pole, we got quite a bit right here. So we're gonna take a sample out of this area. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on all these. I'm gonna just take the top off and then just get, I don't know, first inch or so. As long as I'm getting river gravel, I'll take it. Okay, there's our first sample. And then we'll kind of cover it up so it doesn't look like I've been digging here. Okay, moving on to the next pole. Okay, then we're gonna take our sample, just dump it in the bucket. Okay, next time we're gonna take the bucket out so we don't fill the Jeep full of dust. Okay. Next poll. Good news, we can keep the title Power Pole Gold because this one actually is a power pole. Okay, now this one we got river gravel everywhere. So we're gonna just take some out of just different spots around it and uh, throw it in the bucket. Number two. Now these poles that have the number exposed, that's what the big blur spot is because I'm blurring out the numbers on these poles just to protect the poles in case I find some gold. Okay, this one's pretty much the same as the last one. It's got river gravel everywhere, so same thing. We'll take where, looks like it's humped up a little bit on each side, so we'll take that as our sample. Get rid of all the big rocks. All right, number three. Now this one's really interesting. You can see this is all just sand on both sides of it. But right where the pole is, we've got rocks that came up out of there when they drilled that. So we'll start out low and we'll just take a sample.
Okay, number four. Now this one's a little different. It's got no gravel around it, but there's a pile right there that's got gravel in it. I think that's the dirt they dug out of the hole. Okay, I'm gonna grab a sample. I lost track. I think there's number five, number six, I don't remember. All right, here we go. This is our last poll. Two reasons. Number one, I'm pretty sure this is the poll that started it all. And number two, this will fill our bucket. So grab a sample and dump it to make sure it fills the bucket. Okay, I think this is number six. Either way, this is our last sample. Let's go dump her in the bucket. Well, our bucket's full. And uh, I'm really kind of uh, amazed at the difference between each pole. Um, I think like three and four had a lot of large rocks that I had to throw out. Um, and then like you get up here on this one and it's got a mixture of everything. And then that last one, it was all pretty much small stuff. So it's kind of interesting. Okay, well, what do you say we uh, throw everything in the truck, head to the house, and uh, do a little panning? Let's see if we got some gold. Back at the house, and you guessed it, it's the next day. Now, I took all the material we had in the bucket, and I ran it through a sieve, and I think it's like a 3 8 half inch, something like that, and I ended up with a little over half a bucket of material. Now, we have a lot of dirt, a lot of uh, pine needles and stuff in it. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to shove the uh, hose in this bucket and just kind of wash this, get rid of as much of the mud and the light stuff as we can before we start panning because it'll mud out the tub instantly. So be right back. I'm going to clean this up and then we'll start panning. But what we got left is this sand and gravel now. We got all the dirt out of it. So I'm going to get the tub set up and we'll start panning. I'm going to use a little pan because uh, it's a lot easier to pan in the tub with it. And then uh, once I get down to just concentrate, I'll dump it in here. And then we'll do one last finished pan. See, we still got there's quite a bit of gravel in here. So here's hoping. Now, knowing that if we have gold in here, it's going to be fine gold, I'm going to take my time on panning, make sure I don't pan any of it out. Oh, well, there's a sizable amount of black sand. Okay, we got that down. Now we'll just wash that into there and do the next one. Well, we're, <coughs> we're finally down to the bottom of the bucket. This will be the seventh pan. And this should be the one with all the good stuff in it. Since we've uh, mixed this all up with water. Hell, I didn't see no big nuggets go by. Okay, our last pan. Now this one has considerably more black sand in it than the other ones. This one's going to take a little longer. Now I... I'm going to run in and grab the 10 mesh so we can get all these uh, larger rocks out of here quick and easy. Okay, we got our 10 mesh screen. That'll make it a little easier. Okay, now we'll check this. Well, I was kind of hoping for a piece of quartz with gold in it, but 
All I got is a tray full of some really cool looking rocks. Okay, well let's finish panning this out, see if we got any gold. I'm gonna go grab the green pan so we can see the black sands better. Okay, first thing we'll do is make sure you get your pan all wet and then we'll transfer it over to the green pan. There is a lot of black sand. Give me an idea there. That's all black sand. So a lot of black sand. Hopefully there's some gold on the bottom. Okay, well I'm getting it down there. And we have gold because I'm seeing every now and then I'm seeing a little fine piece of gold pop up in the back of the pan here. Okay, let's go back to the little black pan because now we're wanting to look for gold. Okay, I'm going to get some clean water, put it in the pan, and we're going to take a look. Now we can see what's going on. Let's see if we got any gold. Oh, I see fine gold in there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there is definitely some fine gold in there. We got quite a bit of gold in there. Oh, we got some chunky gold in there. Let me clean this up a little more. Okay, I got this cleaned up pretty good. Um, still, I got some black sand. There's such uh, fine gold in there. I'm having a hard time getting it separated from the black sand. I'm gonna try to show you this. If I can't see too good in the shade with the camera, so we may have to go out in the sun. I'm not sure, but I'll give her a go. This is just the top layer. It's just covered with super fine pieces that I can't get, you know, they're just too small. Well, I went in, grabbed the black sand magnet, and I pulled the magnetic black sand out. That made it a lot better. So now let me show you the gold. Okay, you can see here we got, I don't know, six or eight decent pieces and then just all kinds of really, really fine gold. Now that really fine gold is not gonna amount to any weight, but it's just a lot of pieces. Okay, well, I'm gonna set this out in the sun let it dry out and uh, once it's all dried out we'll try to clean it up a little better take it inside and see if there's enough to weigh well i'm glad we started early because it is hot out there right now okay well i got that gold all dried out got it cleaned up and this time i didn't run it through the 50 mesh because there was just so much small gold most of it would be gone so it took me quite a bit longer to clean it up but we got it cleaned up so let's jump over to the scale see if there's enough there to even make the scale move okay well here goes i'll be darn 0 0.16 i can't believe the scale moved. That's pretty cool. Now, next time I head up there, which is hot as it's been, may not be that long because it's nice up there. But next time I head up there, I think I might just park the truck and do a little hiking around that area because I've really never explored that area. The way it was worked, it's just a sheer bluff and there's really no place to uh, metal detect. I've never, never really messed around there. But I'm, I think I'll give the surrounding area a look. Who knows, there may be some smaller pits back in there that you can't see that we can do a little detecting on. Okay, well that's pretty much all I got on this one. So, I'm out of here. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.